plays games with Steve and Angel. All right, all right, Angel, talk to Angel okay. and talk as Angel. Okay. Oh, Angel, you're oh, my do. angel. Wow. You're my darling angel. <laughs> oh. Angel, you're my angel, I believe. Somehow I knew you would sing that song. <laughs> Yesterday was a day of destiny. I knew something was going to happen. Just like I know what the daily special on Friday every week is. Uh, on Friday every week is salmon. Destiny? Is yesterday special for some reason? You're a defense attorney, right? You should know them. You should know the foul misdeeds of the evil ones who haunt this den of inequity. E evil ones? Prosecutors! They have no qualms at all about blackening the name of the innocents. And yesterday they paid homage to the most evil one of all. Homage. Homage. <laughs> homage. Some people say hom it's like homage, and I'm like, really? I'm like, isn't it homage? Oh, homage. I'm going to do homage. I uh, will say everything wrong because I never read. Uh, they oh, gave an award. Just wait till you get to the characters that speak French. Oh, to be fair, though, reading boy. does not mean you pronounce things right. You right. know what I mean? That's true. Because you're reading it in your head. You yeah. Know. That's true. Yeah. Uh, they gave an award for King of Prosecutors. What a farce. What a farce. What a farce. <laughs> so she's saying there was some sort of prosecutors convention yesterday? Prosecon. <laughs> Prosecon. Oh my god. I was almost compelled to lace her lunches with something foul. Do you have a personal grievance against prosecutors or something? Or is there some kind of scientific evidence of this um, evil? Young miss. Knock me at your own risk. You'll soon find out why they call me the cough up queen. Ew. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> um, no thanks. Um, the most heinous of all the evil ones. The one they awarded yesterday. It was in his car that they found the body. Proof that he devours the evilest lunches of all. Really? Really what? Really, really? I'm totally really, confused. Really. One thing's clear. This lunch lady has a thing against prosecutors. What's an evil lunch? An evil lunch? Like, like putting like like maybe like ketchup and mustard on a pizza or something, you know? Oh. Evil lunch is um oh we we were just having this conversation yesterday. Uh that chicken wing meme where it's like how much do you eat the chicken wings and you oh. take one bite and then you're oh. done. That's an evil lunch. Yeah. There. yeah. Evil, 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 evil. Evil! So, what exactly was it that you witnessed, Miss Star? It was a fascinating spectacle, to, uh, spec uh, spectacle to be sure. I, I now feel I know what they say when they talk about a woman's wrath. See Lana Sky wield that knife so... <laughs> Her knife flashed in anger, bringing him to a sad end. It was truly a sight to see. Y you mean, you saw the very moment of the crime? The sound of his silvery ties to the, uh, the sound of his silvery ties to this world being cruelly cut still rings in my ears. And the rhythmic beat of Lana Sky's knife. Wait a second, you know Lana Sky? <laughs> of course, it's quite a feat becoming cheap. Prosecutor. All hotties know hotties. <laughs> yeah. If you know, you know. How many lunchboxes of sin did she pack to make that journey, I wonder? She always travels light. Now, why would this pretty lunch lady know the chief prosecutor's name? Why would this... Angle. <laughs> um, could we ask you a bit about yourself, Miss Star? I come here every day to sell lunches. I import only the freshest and best from the Far East, which is where we're not from at all. Yeah, no. <laughs> For some reason, the box lunches are a hit here. Why not make the lunches here rather than import them? Than in, uh, rather than import them. In the original, we get them from the we get lunchables from the West. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, from the wild, wild West. You strike me as a cracker stacker kind of yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> deep, deep dish, the crunch <laughs> bar. Um, did you say something? I'm a nacho know. girl myself. <laughs> okay, which lunchable? Uh, I, is the 
of what is is the do I like or is she? No, or? you, you, both of you. Uh, I mean, I like the pizza ones, but I, I specifically like when they have the dessert pizza. The, oh yeah, the I mean pizza. that's part of the reason why I got the pizza. I didn't like the pizza so much, but I was just like, yeah, I'll I'll slather that chocolate icing in a minute. <laughs> so both of you are pizzas. No, I'm the weirdo that liked cracker stackers. I think cracker stackers are underrated. Thank uh, you. Yeah. Thank I, you. Although I, you know, I had to do a Lunchables video, and I remember. Yeah, I you hated the cracker stacker. In theory, yeah. Because there's like there's like ham and turkey. Yeah. Uh, there's different cracker stackers. Well, yeah. It was baby's first charcuterie, right? Yeah, pizza. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I used to enjoy going on field trips because I would just get psyched because I would just buy Lunchables for for the packed lunch. They mm. do those adult Lunchables, not branded Lunchables, but it's mm. essentially a Lunchable for adults with like fancier foods. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think from what I remember, pizza maybe? Yeah. Just get the pe I, but it's gotta be pepperoni pizza, otherwise I don't yeah, want to waste yeah, my yeah. time. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it'd be nachos. Anyway, they both taste the same either way. It's just a different dye color. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> only true connoisseurs can understand. The lunchable. The kind you can only tell someone who has tried General Tso's Trilobite lunch set. You were so trying to figure out which lunchable that was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, never mind. You win. I don't even want to appreciate part of a Trillobite's flavor. Are we seeing like each individual like uh like wrapper for these lunchables? These lunchables. No, nah, it's lunches? been like the same. It's been the same wrapper. Oh, okay. Anyway, I come here every day to sell lunchables. My boyfriend works in the security room here at the prosecutor's office. Your boyfriend? See the security room over there? The glass walled booth? I sell my lunches, and since I'm here anyway, I drop in to see him. Since you're here anyway, I guess selling lunches is more important than romance. So, to scientifically analyze the data available so far, you, Miss Star, are a lunch vendor with an ulterior motive for coming here. Useful analysis. Not. Oh. I'm 16. <laughs> Uh, Angel Star's, uh, hot dog octopus necklace is so good. Yeah, it's oh, cute. that's what it is! Yeah. It's so cute. Oh. I want earrings of, that are, that, I want, like, matching earrings. Uh, mm. the, the, the hot dog octopus? Yeah. Yes. Did you have a bad experience with a prosecutor, Miss Star? I sense some hostility. Hostility? Ha! <laughs> Perhaps. Prosecutors are all alike. And the bigger they get, the worse they smell. Kind of like ten-day-old clams in the chowder. I wonder if Miss Star was involved in some sort of legal trouble in the past. That'd be a sure cause of food poisoning, scientifically speaking, of course. I mean, now you're talking cough up. Uh, now you're talking cough up, Queen. I thought she was just a lunch vendor. But now I'm not so sure. Hmm. Uh, can we present her with anything? Oh, we only have that. Oh, well, actually, maybe this is... No, that's not her boyfriend. That's the detective, I assume. Got this card. Mm hmm Lunchland vendors only accept cash, no cards. Especially under a card belonging to someone else. No, no, this isn't a credit card. It's an ID card. It belongs to the detective. And you're showing this to me, the lunch lady, why? That's like showing a fine honeyed ham to a detective. I don't always feel like I'm Did being you say hot. a hot eyed ham? A honeyed. Honeyed, <laughs> honeyed, honeyed honey? ham. A hot eyed ham. I thought it was a hot eyed ham. <laughs> I don't even remember what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> a honeyed ham. A hot eyed ham. Honeyed ham. Oh, honey Winnie the Pooh, and I could go for some sweet honey. honey. Oh, I love my honey. <laughs> honey. honey. Just Winnie the Pooh eating eyeballs. Mm, oh, these hot eyes are, they pop in your mouth. Oh, God. <laughs> oh dear, dear Pooh, you can't be eating <laughs> You, you can't eat uh, eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> they took oh, my fucking eye. <laughs> You're eating hot eyeballs over there. <laughs> oh, just, quit being a bunch of... Imagine the whole cast <laughs> of Winnie the Pooh <laughs> feasting quit on being eyeballs. A, quit being a bunch I... of narcs and let me have this. Now, now, Pooh. I'm rabbit. I'm being Save a Save an eyeball for me. <laughs> God. I hate this so yeah. much. Uh, this is the kind of room that just screams, I can do the job. Quite a change from your office, really. 
Thanks. Look, look. There's a trophy or something here. A trophy? What, that shield? It takes real nerve to display stuff like this. Whatever's office this is, he must be a real stuck-up jerk. Mr. Phoenix Wright. You never tire of prying into other people's business, do you? That voice. Wow. Here I am, once again. <laughs> Long time no see, Edgeworth. Huh? Uh, Mr. Edgeworth! Hmm? Huh? You know him from somewhere? Uh, of course! I'm his biggest fan! My sister introduced us once and, uh... Right. Her sister was the chief prosecutor, after all. Well, what brings you here? I'll warn you, I've been known to be a real stuck-up jerk. <laughs> no, uh, did I... Uh, uh, no, no, no. It was just uh, Mr. Wright here, he, uh... Hey, don't blame me! We were just here to investigate a murder case. Uh, a murder. Murder? A body was found in this nasty, bright red sports car in the parking lot. Hmm. That would be my car. What of it? Oh my god. What? Y y your car? I'll say one thing. She certainly can scream. That's a new Edgeworth sprite for this case, right? Oh, the smirk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I just imagine... Want to examine? Oh. Do you see something back there? Oh. A work desk. Wait. It's quite tidy, as one might expect. Did I misclick? What a nice desk. Easy to use and easy on the eyes. It's polished so well, I can see my own reflection. <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh? Strange. Why did I just picture Detective Gumshoe? It's too bad he's dead. <laughs> No! <laughs> Maybe I'll take that nameplate as a souvenir. Plaque. 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 <laughs> Don't. He'll sue you. I was thinking, oh, that's funny. When I look in the desk, I just see Detective Gumshoe. I, I, I thought they would say something, but never mind. Oh, oh, oh. I, th I thought you were talking about the ladder over there. Oh, now you gotta point the ladder. Hmm. Whoa, these are all case files. Oh, did I misclick? No. They're stacked up to the ceiling. There's even a ladder. Odd. I thought Edgeworth wasn't good with heights. He must have someone get them for him. <laughs> oh my god. Strange. Why didn't I just picture Detective Gumshoe? He must study these case reports so closely. He's so cool. You wouldn't say that if you saw him sweating bullets up on that ladder. I was just thinking before, because when they come in and Emma's just like, oh, like, who's this? Who's like, this office obviously belongs to some pretentious asshole. And I thought, thought it'd be ten times funnier if Edgeworth is just sitting at his desk the entire time <laughs> as she's saying that, like... This come from... Uh, this must belong to some real piece yeah, of shit. Yeah, I'm like, uh, uh, ahem. Uh. <laughs> What's going on? Anyway. <laughs> like, hey, a chess board. I almost thought you were going to say cheese board. A cheese board? <laughs> I'm not too up on my chest, but it looks like blues in a bit of a tight spot. The Red Knights have surrounded the Blue Pawn. Huh? Those horses are mounted knights. Their swords have really sharp edges. And check out that poor pawn. His head is kind of spiky. Kind of reminds me of you. Mr. Edgeworth must be an avid chess player. Uh, what's wrong, Mr. Wright? Edges. Surrounding a pawn with spiky hair. Nah, it's nothing. Do you think he takes the pieces and just like, ear, ear, yeah. ear, ear, like smashing them together? Next time, right? Next time. <laughs> Each one has a button on top. Just goes checkmate, checkmate. checkmate. <laughs> yeah. Let me see the trophy. Been wondering, what the heck is this? It has a big K on it. Mm -hmm. Prosecutors. Huh? What's that? <laughs> it's the King of Prosecutors trophy. G -g -g King of Prosecutors! It's a great honor. They send that shield to the best prosecutor each year. What? So? So that K, that's... K stands for King? Yeah, you got a problem with that? I didn't design the thing. King of Prosecutors? Kind of like Employee of the Month, only better. King of Prosecutors, my favorite fighting game franchise. Oh my god. I'd play it. Wow, 
Wow, this jacket is even lacier than his usual ones. I mean, with all the prosecutors from this series, that'd be a good lineup for a fighting <laughs> game, honestly. <laughs> this must be his lucky trial jacket. Lucky jacket, right. Never seen him wear it. I'm sure there's a story behind why it's in a frame. Maybe I'll be naughty and take a picture. She's getting way too excited about this. Does he ever actually wear it? I want to. I want to see. Um, do the T set maybe? Oh, damn it! <laughs> just imagine Edgeworth. You come into his office and just start looking around. And he's like, "Hello, hi. Why did you? Why did you come in here? <laughs> in a minute. Hey, look at the chess set. <laughs> Ooh, cute! What a pretty tea set. I go more for the instant tea bags myself. Amazing! The drawer below is filled with packets of tea leaves. They're all sorted by place of origin and flavor. Look at this royal blend! What an exquisitely splendid concoction! God, okay. There's such a thing as taking a hobby too far. What's wrong with the, what's wrong with tea? All right, took it too far. <laughs> So the body was found in your car? Go ahead, say it right. You think I did it, don't you? After you went through all that trouble to help me last year, no less. No, we don't think you did it. I mean, it was my sister who stabbed him. Uh, oh, wait, no, 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 she didn't do that. I mean... Wait. So you're the chief prosecutor's little sister, then? Y yes, sir. Emma Sky. It, uh... It it's nice to meet you again. No, that didn't sound forced at all. Edgeworth's front-facing sprites got significantly hotter with these new uh, oh. additions. Ah, uh, now I remember. You've really grown. I'll admit it was, a, it was a surprise to me, too. To think that my own car would become the scene of a murder. More surprising still. Now I'm forced to prove my superior's guilt. I can understand. W wait what did you say? Lana Skye is the chief prosecutor, the top prosecutor in the district. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. You? Mr. Edgeworth? Uh-oh. To be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors. You've heard the rumors about me, haven't you? Miles Edgeworth loves to point. <laughs> it's hard to remember a time when there weren't rumors about this guy. Tisk, evidence, tisk, tisk. Arranging false testimony, legal searches, tisk, tisk, tisking, you name it. <laughs> for those viewers who jumped in for this episode only, we're just gonna give you a little recap here. Mm -hmm. Thanks to you, my innocence was established in the trial at the end of last year. However, there are some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. Well, what? That's crazy! Hmm. <laughs> Some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. It's a fact of life. Impossible to stop. <laughs> oh, that smug sprite. But... Some of them even go so far as to present me with toys like this. They think it's funny. Toys? That bronze shield? There's got to be a story behind that one. Lana, Lana Sky. Chief Prosecutor Lana, Lana Sky. Yes, we first worked together on a case two years ago. It was my first big case. That's right, I remember. Two years ago? I wasn't even a lawyer yet. You had a crazy year. Jeez. Since then, I always felt that she was looking out for me. It appears I was mistaken. M mistaken? Why? I mean, I know she's not the warmest person. But I'm sure she felt some responsibility for you. Then why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? Not only that, she stabbed him with my knife. Wh what? Mr. Edgeworth, your knife was the murder weapon? I love that he color coordinates everything. <laughs> yeah. To be specific, it was the knife kept in the toolbox in the trunk of my car. He's just like me for real. <laughs> like, if you saw my furniture it might terrify you how many things are teal oh mm -hmm. take a photo sometime yeah i will <laughs> um 
Edgeworth? What? Are you sure you didn't do it? Oh, let me think about it. Oh, oh, oh mm -hmm. it slipped my mind. Oh, <laughs> here, take me. Throw, throw the cuffs on me, right? <laughs> Come on, can you take a joke? I mean, you can throw the cuffs on if you want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Wright. I wasn't joking. <laughs> uh, well, we already talked about the trophy and got it. Well, do we present I, him? I think you present the trophy. Yeah, present it because they were like, he was like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, do it. Okay. So in other words, you were the best of the best this year, huh? You can take that foolish grin elsewhere, right? Like That's that. another new one, too. Mm -hmm. I lost a day of work to receive that travesty. Huh? Why is that? I had to go to the police department ceremony to receive that broken shield. The, the police department? Did you say the, the police department? I said the police department. I got the it. Da, 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 da. The police department? <laughs> <laughs> yes, right next to the police station downtown. You've been there, correct? Where Detective Gumshoe works. Yeah. Um, I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? What does it matter? I've got more important things to worry about. Oh, right. He doesn't seem too concerned about his award, for better or for worse. Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Maybe we should ask him more about yesterday? Um, can we... Yesterday... There were all these things so far away. <laughs> Which song is that? Uh, don't worry. I don't know. I don't know songs, so. Oh, right. Yeah. Can you tell me more about yesterday, the day of the murder? Yesterday was the annual cleaning day at the prosecutor's office. Cleaning day? Working with the police department, we sort and file all evidence for solved cases. We call it evidence transferal. Wiping your hands of old cases, in other words? Oh, and another thing. A ceremony was held at the police department. There's an annual review and awards for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. And that's when you got the shield? I was at the police department yesterday afternoon. I got back here at 512. That's very precise. People like myself and Mr. Edgeworth pride ourselves in, on our precision, Mr. Wright. No, I place little faith in my memory. <laughs> the only thing I trust is solid evidence. Oh. And this is the parking stub from the underground lot. The murder took place around 5.15. 5.12. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's when he got back. So, the murder happened right after you got back. What, right? I'd appreciate it if you direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. Um... Oh, God. Oh. Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth uh, anywhere on the premises? <laughs> Maybe not that Muppety. But... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I it. I, it's not bad. It's pretty good. I'm Edgeworth. What is it? Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Uh, well, I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. Actually, go back. Curious what? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm curious. I kind of I kinda liked it before. Okay. Report? What? Did you find new evidence in the case against Chief Prosecutor Sky? I don't like the way this conversation is going at all. Go back and do the original voice. <laughs> uh, Sky, sir? Uh, no, sir. Yeah, you know what? Go with this. <laughs> no name of that kind, sir. Not in the report, sir. But... I think I just heard a short slid blow. <laughs> Any anytime I meet someone and they talk, I'm, I'm no, no, do a different voice. <laughs> <laughs> Try something else. Uh, Mr. Edgeworth's lid isn't on very tight, is it? I made a clear request to the police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything unrelated. Sir, but, but sir! I'm just following orders, sir! They told me to bring this to you! <laughs> I wasn't aware of the particulars of your arrangement, sir! Give me your name! Uh, uh, yes, yes, sir! Kimi no Nawa. Meekins, sir! Officer Meekins! <laughs> Right. <laughs> Officer Meekins. <laughs> Take your report and leave. And good luck with that raise next month and that voice. <laughs> <laughs> but, 
didn't, sir. I, I, I didn't know. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Looks like he was absent on the day they gave out brains and good luck. Oh, my God. Intolerable voices. <laughs> right. Y yes, sir. Yeah. He caught me off guard. <laughs> As you can see. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone turns some Muppets around me. <laughs> as you can as you can see, I'm busy. <laughs> you may leave now. Well, let's do what he says, Mr. Wright. I can't do it. The victim was a detective from the same department as that patrolman just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Ah, uh, thanks! Hey. He seems to have finally calmed down at least! <laughs> ah. Waka waka! Waka waka! Okay, so that makes Detective Gumshoe Sweetums then? <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey, pal! <laughs> I gotta say, like, when I saw you were playing uh, Cowboy Guy, I was like, and then with Angels, Angel Star, I'm like, oh no. <laughs> so in the back of my head, I'm trying to like, you know, do the dialogue, but I'm also like, what am I gonna do for Meekins? What am I gonna do for Meekins? <laughs> so. Let's see. All right. Let's go to the police. Oh, wait a minute. This is new. Yeah, there's the department. Oh, the department. The department store for policemen. <laughs> Woo, we're finally here. Of like the best dick gumshoe you have. That one will do. <laughs> I'll take them like, all. Yeah. Uh, why would they put the detective so far away from the prosecutor's office? It took almost 30 minutes by taxi. The traffic wasn't even that bad. It's my first time to the police department, actually. Hmm? Hold on. What's that? Just a little guy. <laughs> Disturbing. <laughs> Why does it undulate like that? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I, I love just that. I watch it. Yeah. Oh, wait, I know. This is the blue badger. Ah, uh, the blue badger, an icon. <sighs> They're trying to make him the police mascot. Wow, Mr. Wright, you know a lot about the police department. Yeah, they're trying like this new thing where it's like it's very Japanese inspired, where like everything's cutesy and everything has a mascot. Oh, wow. It's almost <laughs> like we're in Japan or something. Uh, still, he does seem familiar somehow. Forget the blue badger. Who's that next to him? Oh, someone appears to be dancing with the blue badger? Uh-oh. He noticed me. Sure is running over here fast. Oh, <laughs> hey, pal! What, what, what are you doing oh, here? Oh, my God! That's my line, Detective Gumshoe. Specifically... Why were you dancing over there? Why did they deprive us of a little animated scene of him dancing with that thing? What? Uh, well... Well, at least he doesn't seem to be busy. This is our chance to get information. Hey, I love you know I'm a very busy man, pal. Oh yeah? Well... Well, I'm gonna be busy for the rest of the day. We'll talk tomorrow. Okay, yeah, I'll go back to dancing. But not show Angel. No! 